Hi, welcome to So Sensible. Uh, today we're going to make a country apron out of old pair of jeans and some country fabric. This is a project that a friend requested that I make for her and it turned out great. So I thought I'd show you how to do it. You're gonna need some fabric for bias tape and you're gonna need a fabric for ruffles and you're going to need fabric for the apron straps. And you're also gonna need a pair of jeans that can't be saved. So I ripped the, ba the back out of these jeans, so I thought these will be perfect candidate. So the first thing you're gonna do to prep is you're gonna wanna cut out the front. So, let me just switch over to this camera. You're going to make sure the pockets are out of the way. You don't want to cut the pockets. And in fact, if it helps, you could flip it inside out so that you make sure that you don't goof it up. And you're just going to cut it right here. It's better to cut more off than not have enough. Okay, then you're gonna cut. I always cut extra because I get worried about sniffing too much. And you're just gonna cut it out. Okay. And you're actually going to cut the bottom off too, like so. And let me see, that's about 12 inches, a little bit shy. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then you're going to cut it open on the seam. Okay. Now this is your front so let me go to the bigger camera so you're gonna hold it right here and you're kind of gonna guess how wide you want it so I want it about this wide so I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna remember by just snipping it and then I'll take my pencil out and you can really measure this if you want I kind of just draw it out and yeah, there is a science to it. You can make it symmetrical. And uh, in fact, why don't we do that? What we'll do is we'll trace the one side like this. And then you cut them both at the same time. And then you know they'll be even. And then cut that side off too. Okay. See? And you can cut this off just because. So you have your. So that looks good, I think. And then you have your bottoms, and you can just. There's some different ways you can do it. These are actually low-waisted pants, so they're gonna give you a bit more troubles. So what you could do is just kind of fold it over like this and then sew it on the inside and sew it shut. So I'm gonna do that first. Now denim's a little bit harder to work with, so you're going to want to get a denim needle so that you can kind of push through it. Okay. 
I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to cut the bulk off. Okay. So now we have this. And we're going to make sure that the pockets are out of the way. And we're going to curve this ever so slightly. And again, you could, if you want it to be symmetrical, you can cut one side and then fold it like this and cut the other side. And that just makes it easier. Okay, looks good so far. Now, so next, why don't we do the ruffles? And I'll just show you. Oh, well, we'll do, we'll do the straps first. But if you want, you can see it's already starting to look like an apron, okay? So the straps, what you're going to do is there's two ways you can do it. You can do it the hard way, in my opinion, and you can sew it like this. And you could just sew it along here and then flip the whole thing inside out. But I find that to be really tedious. So what I do is, is I fold this in and I fold this in and I just sew it like that. Okay. So did you see what I did? I just folded this in, folded this in, and then folded it in half. And then I'm just going to make sure that I watch when I'm doing it to make sure that it's on target and it's hitting both sides. And that you can, you can do that all on the table. You can pin the whole thing out, but if you feel comfortable, uh, you can just start at the uh, sewing machine doing it like that. So that's what I'm going to do. It's a time saver. And I'm going to fold this down too so that I have a nice edge And then I leave the needle in as I twist it. So there we have one strap done. And if you want, you can press this. So if you, if you check the seam afterwards and you find that you may have missed something, you can always go back and fix it. And I always do the whole length of the, of the fabric because you can always cut it shorter, but you can't cut it longer. So then I'm gonna do another one. Okay, you have two straps done. And now we're gonna worry about the ruffles. Now the ruffles, you need two or three times the area of the jeans. So let's say this measures to be 24. You want 48 or something like that, okay? So in order to get that, you're gonna have to piece some fabric together. And I cut this fabric about five inches because I intend to fold it in half 
And this is how big I want my ruffles to be. About two and a half, okay? So this is about twice as much. And I think I'm gonna sew on one more just in case. So now you're gonna take it to your ironing board, which I didn't bring because we're in the studio. And you're gonna fold it in half gonna iron it just in half. Okay. So now you have this beautiful piece. Now there's a couple ways that you can do it. First things first, we're gonna put these straps on. So if this is a good length, see, so I know I need to take off a bunch, so. I'm gonna take off about this much. There we go. And then I'm going to take the raw edges and then I'm going to put the seam right here. And I'm going to pin it. And then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna pin it. Now, this is extremely important. You want to fold these babies up and pin them in place because if you happen to snag one of these in your sewing, you're gonna be a sad, sad person. Sad girl or boy. So keep those out of the way. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the ruffle and we're gonna start. Now see, I made it extra big, so that kind of leaves it open where I can, I have different options. Actually, I'm gonna finish this edge real quick. Yeah, I think so. Then we'll start. Okay, so now we have the ruffle and we're gonna start it right here. See the ruffle? Let me bring it over here. So here's my finished edge and I'm going to flip it like this. That's the easy part right there. Then you're gonna put pleats in. So you're gonna go like this. You're gonna fold it up and pin it. Now, if you did exactly what you needed, this would be really hard because you'd have to be careful how big your pleats are and stuff like that. You'd have to fold it in half and get a half measurement. This is just gonna be more continuous. Okay, and voila, we have it all pleated. All pinned and pleated, perfect. So, if you wanted to, you could make the pleats go this way and pleats go that way. This is just the easiest way, so I made all the pleats go one way, and I'm gonna start here and sew, and I won't have any problems because I'll be going with the grain. Now, I also wanna warn you to be careful now because this is where the buckles are, so you don't wanna hit those little metal disc things 
whatever those are called. So you want to go slow and steady. It also helps to add a quarter inch on either side because then you're not going through the hard lump of the, the denim, you're just going through the thinner material. You just want to check your material as you go too. So you can just iron it down now. And see how good that's starting to look? Now what you're gonna wanna do is stitch around here, going the opposite direction that you just went, and sew all the pleats in place. Now you can see that it's already making a pretty nice apron and you could just leave it like that, but we're gonna keep going So now you have it. Doesn't that look darling? Now we're going to work on the top piece. First things first, we're going to make an edge on this top piece. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew along here and then we're gonna flip it over and make it a bias tape. But because we see what's on the outside, I think what I'm gonna do is sew on the back like this and then fold it over, okay? As you see, I sew, I've sew. i sewn it to the back, and then I'm just gonna go like this. We have a nice crisp edge there. And then you're gonna fold it and tuck like this. See how nice that looks? Okay, so now we have this tail that we're just gonna trim off. And now we're going to do these sides right here, okay? We shall start here and then work our way up and then we're gonna leave these open because these are gonna be our straps, okay? For around our neck. So just like the last one, we're gonna sew it to the back. And we're gonna do back side to nice side. We're gonna bring it to the machine like this. See that? I just folded it over just like a bias tape and I'm going to, just because it's easier, I'm just going to start sewing right here and then when I get over to here, I'm going to fold them into each other like a bias tape and just like I did with the straps and it's going to save me a step. Okay, so there we have one strap, and we're gonna cut that shorter later. Um, but right now, that's good to go. And then we're gonna go on to the next one. OK, 
Okay, so now we have the top. So I'm going to just measure it. Let's see where I want it. And I can probably cut off about this much. And then tie a knot at the end. Now, if you wanted to, at this point, you could take a back pocket from the jeans and you could sew it right in the middle. Or you could put a heart, or you could do whatever you wanted to kind of dress it up how you like. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna unpin this and we're going to take this and put it face down right here and we're gonna center it on the button. This is where it's gonna get really scary because you don't want to hit that big buckle. So it's gonna, we're gonna be hand feeding that for sure. Okay, as you can see, I pinned it all the way around. Pretty to pretty. And we're gonna sew it. Remember to keep all the straps out of the way, okay? and you're ready to go in the garden or bake some cookies or whatever you wanna do, this would make a great gift for your country loving gal. All right then, you have a great day, bye bye. Hi, welcome back to So Sensible. And now we're going to make a little catch-all bag that's just gonna sit on your counter and just look adorable. The first thing you need is a pair of jeans. They can be your jeans, they can be your kids' jeans, your neighbor's jeans, you know, get somebody's jeans that have ripped out the holes. And what I did is my son ripped out the knees. So what I did is I cut these off and I made them into shorts. So I'm going to just make this into a little bag and I'll show you how. First, you're gonna cut off the leg, of course, and then you're gonna cut the yuck off. And we already have a pretty much finished top here. And we're going to flip this inside out. And we're gonna sew this together. Okay, I forgot a really important part. You actually have to make a liner. So what you're gonna wanna do is hold it to your fabric because that's how we're doing it and you need enough and then some now if you got if you cut this on the fold you wouldn't need this much space but because we have to sew it together I do So I sewed that edge together and then I sewed the, the raw edge down just so that it was pretty and it wouldn't unravel. So we're going to put this together, pretty sides together. I'm gonna measure it again. And this time you're gonna make it a little bit smaller. And I'm just gonna sew from the top and I'm gonna go all the way around. And then it'll be the same as the other one. So this is the hardest part now. 
and it's going to be making a flat bottom. So you're going to stick your hands inside of there. You see that? And you're going to want to pinch this seam to this corner, okay? So like this. Does this make sense? And you're going to make a little triangle the opposite way of the seam. And you're going to probably measuring would be a good idea so that you get consistency and pin it, of course. And then you do it to the other side. So I'm doing one and a half. So your bottom should look like this. And you are going to cut it right off. And you should probably zigzag stitch these, but I'm not going to just for TV sake. So you already see, you've got the makings of a little basket, okay? Jean pocket. And we're going to make sure right side is out, okay? So the side that you usually see when you're putting on your jeans. And then we're gonna take the, the liner and make sure the yucky sides are touching each other. So you're gonna probably wanna match up the corners and there we go. And then what we're going to do, so what I like to do is I like to pin this so there's no shifting. At the bottom, just so that Nobody wants to get wild and crazy. Leave its spot. So then you're going to fold the liner down just like you would a sock. Well, if you're a girl, you fold the sock down like that, right? So then you want to match it up and you want to pin it around, okay? So we're done. Look how quick that was. We're going to take out the rest of the pins. And what you're going to do is you're just going to fold this down just a little bit. And there you have it. A little catch all. Put your phone in it. You know, whatever you want. It could be a little little bed for a stuffed animal, you know? Use your imagination. <laughs> well, thank you for joining So Sensible, and I'll see you next time.